What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Audi channel and welcome back to another video. Today we have a very special fun install. We have a, hopefully you can kind of see that right there. That is a boost gauge. Uh, we're gonna be installing that today on the A4. Um, I just got this here like 10 minutes ago, so I figured I would go ahead and make a video and try to install it really quick. It's supposed to be a very simple, quick, easy install. I'm very excited for it. Hopefully it'll kind of tell us if we are actually boosting uh, normally or if uh, I'm just going psycho and thinking that we're not boosting. Uh, whatever, we're going to figure that out today. So let me show you what guys. we got here. We have obviously the boost gauge itself. So I did get the Evo series uh, boost gauge. As you can see, it's a fully electronic. Um, so that should be cool. It's not an actual, um, it doesn't have an actual gauge. Uh, we have our hose right here. We have our sender unit here, our wiring harness. Um, here we have a couple of things. We have our mounting bracket, our T fitting, and then our filter. Um, and then here, this is also a kit. This is a kit on ECS tuning. If you guys are interested in this kit, um, I will link it down below so you guys can go check it out. Um, but this is supposed to fit on the steering column. I'm not sure if it's gonna. It looks really short and the steering column in the A4 looks a lot uh, deeper, at least on here on the sides. So I'm not sure if that'll fit or not, but we'll, we'll see. Um, it did come as a kit and it does say in the packaging here, this gauge pod is designed to fit 97 through 01 A4 steering columns. Um, so again, we'll find out. We'll see if it fits. It is black. Unfortunately, my, inter my interior is gray. Uh, so again, we'll just kind of have to see on that. Um, but it's supposed to be relatively simple. Taking a look here, as you can, can see, uh, with our wires, we have our red wire is 12 volt, uh, white wire is 12 volt, uh, and then the orange wire is also 12 volt. And then our black wires are ground. So if you look on the sender unit here, we have three wires. We have our ground, our 12 volt, um, which is our red, and then our white um, is the green wire on our gate or our um, wiring harness for our gauge here as you can see so that should be pretty simple on here um, so obviously it says red white and orange can all be 12 volt accessory power but then we have our lighting options so if you guys see here we have all blue all red uh, blue and red and red and blue uh, I would like to go with the all red considering that the interior colors on the A4 are all red uh, so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna leave the orange or pardon me, I'm gonna leave the white not connected and then the orange is gonna to connect to our accessory power, which is going to be our red wire under center unit here. Hopefully you can see that. Um, our ground should be relatively simple. And then the, which one am I missing here? Um, I think that's it. So we're gonna have orange using here, black using here and green. I think that the red also stays uh, blank, same with the white wire. So we're gonna figure that out. It uh, should be relatively easy under the hood. If I take you over here, as you guys can see, we do have both the Audis here lifting up on the hood right here. And as you can see, uh, we're going to go off this line right here. So we'll uh, splice this here, use our T-fitting, um, and run that over to the ECU box over there, which I can actually go ahead and take this off because we're going to need to get under there anyways. So taking that off removing this and then removing this as you guys can see uh, here's our ECU box we have this little nipple on the front which is gonna where gonna be where we run our uh, hose through and then once we take the lid off that we might have to take this uh, wiper cowl out here uh, once we take the lid off of this there should be a little grommet that we can run through to go to the uh, interior of the car and we're gonna run underneath the dash over there Without so, further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start removing some of the interior pieces off of the A4. We have to remove the column or the little panel underneath the steering wheel, so we're going to remove that, um, as well as the side piece on the dash to get to the fuses, um, and then we'll kind of go from there. I will show you guys here in just one moment. Okay, so taking a peek on the inside of the A4. Uh, as you can see here, I did take the side cover off of the dash. We have one 8mm bolt here. One right here, there will be a cover here. I did already go ahead and take that off, it's over there. Same thing on this side, another cover, and then another eight millimeter. So, taking our thing here. Out comes one. All right, so once you have that 10 millimeter, or eight millimeter, pardon me, and those other two, 
on the sides of the steering column. As you can see, you can rip out the lower piece and then we have exposure to everything under here. Now, I think the easiest thing to do is gonna be to run the hoses through first so that way I can know exactly where I want them. Uh, I may end up putting the center unit underneath the dash under here. Uh, it might just be easier because the wires on the center unit and the wiring harness for the gauge are very short in comparison to uh, where that's gonna be located in the car to out here. So I'm gonna try to figure that out. Uh, if that ends up happening, then what I will do is go ahead and run our hoses and then we can figure it out from there. All right, guys, so I just kind of get the wiring figured out. Um, so obviously the white is staying alone because we want red all the time. Um, what we have here is green and white going together. Uh, that's what it says to do over here as the white wire on the sending unit connects to the green wire from the gauge, which is exactly what I have going here. The black wires here are both the grounds, and then we have orange, and then both reds connecting together. That will be the 12 volt accessory power. That's exactly what it says to do if we're gonna go red all the time. So, uh, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is solder all of these together just to make sure that they are okay um, and do not come apart. The green and white wire will get kind of taped off and just kind of stuck off to the side. Those just stay connected. The ground, we have a ground bolt, and then our power. Uh, we have a power um, supply, so let me go ahead and show you in the car. So taking a peek up underneath the dash, and as you can see right here, we have our 75 terminal. That is where our power will come from, and then our ground will be right here. So that is how that is going to go, and then the wires should run up to the top of the steering wheel here. As you can see, this is what I was talking about. As you can see, it's very shallow, so I'm not exactly sure how it's going to stay in there. Uh, we'll figure that out as time comes. And that's just decided not today. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is solder those wires together, run them up under the dash, and then I will get to you guys here in just a minute. All right, guys, so I think I got it all figured out. I'm going to take the key out of the ignition so it'll stop beeping. So as you guys can see, I got my grands, my grounds <laughs> ran to this uh, bolt right here above the, um, the fuse box here. That's just one of the mounting bolts for it. I have my power down here, as you guys can hopefully kind of see. Uh, it's a wiring mess down here. Uh, this wire right here going to the 75 terminal. Um, and then I have my uh, grounds connected up here and taped off. They're all soldered. Same thing with the green and the white wire. Uh, so everything's good there. The white wire over here is still just kind of capped off, hanging off to the side. Um, I did just go ahead and plug in the boost gauge just to see if it is working. Uh, so let me go ahead and turn that key for you. And you guys can see. Now, I don't know how to one-handed life, I guess. Um, so let me see if I can sit you guys up somewhere. All right, hopefully you guys can kind of see this. As you guys can see, engage does turn on. So we are all good power wise. So now, and I totally just dropped you. Uh, so now what I have to do is figure out a good mounting place. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that I'm gonna be able to reach it above the gauge cluster up here due to, well, I think it's my red wires up here. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm gonna find a good place to go ahead and mount this. So give me a little bit and we'll have that mounted and then we can also go ahead and hook up our hoses. Alrighty, you guys. So as you can see under here, uh, it's still a freaking mess. Um, but as you can see, still have the power line running to the 75 terminal over there. Um, now I did go ahead and move. Uh, I switched our ground location. Uh, I just grounded it right here to this uh, <laughs> Oh, pardon me, the the mounting bracket for the um, the panel that goes here. Um, and then I routed all of this up to our pod mount thing, as you can see right here. Uh, so it does fit. It just kind of slides over the existing thing right there. Um, only other thing you have to do is take out this trim piece right here, uh, which I now realize may be a pain to get back in. Um, uh, but you have to take out that trim piece, the upper trim piece, and then just kind of fold that back and you should be able to run your wires through. So you can kind of see our wires down in there. Now, when I go ahead and turn the key, I will just go ahead and show you. As you can see, it does fire up as it should. So we are all good there. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and run our 
hoses from our engine bay. Um, those, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that line, put the T-hose in, run all of that, and we should be all good, and then we can just go ahead and test it out. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and go over to the engine bay here. I'm gonna go ahead and splice this right here, insert our T. Um, with that clear hose, I'm gonna run it over to the box, uh, the ECU box over here, find a place through the firewall, and we should be all good to go. Uh, so actually, I'll just go ahead and explain this to you guys. So cut it here, run our uh, clear tube over through this grommet right here, uh, run that clear tube over into here, and then we can go ahead and run that clear tube into the firewall um, and then come down through there and connect it to our uh, uh, sensor over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that and I will show you guys here in just one moment. All right, you guys, so I think I got this most of the way figured out. I need to get this one on there a little bit more, but I did go ahead and test it and it's working good for now. Um, so as you can see, I got the T in there. I've got this cord or this hose, uh, like I said, running through this grommet right here. It then comes through and goes over into the ECU box in here, which then in turn runs down uh, through the box down here. There's like a little opening and cutout in the bottom, uh, which runs underneath the dash down there uh, to where all of this is, as you can see. Uh, so we have our hose running through here, uh, but then we have our filter on there, and then we have our regulator or whatever you call that thing um, down here. So now, every time I start the car, as you can see right now, it's sitting at negative one. So if I start the car, maybe. gas as you can see it does fluctuate so uh, it is running good it is working as it should so now I just kind of have to button everything back up um, make sure that I can get that hose on there a little bit more than that it might be all right but it's barely on there um, so get that all back together as you can see I had to take the cowl off the wipers I had to take the wipers off themselves the lid for the uh, ECU box, that's the reason I had to take all that out is there is one eight millimeter back here. Otherwise, there all the other eight millimeters are accessible. Um, took the engine cover off, the cowl that covers all this. You guys saw me take that off. As you can see, I have all my parts and stuff here. So everything should be going back together here pretty soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that and I will meet up with you guys here in just one. All right, guys. So about an hour later, we got everything buttoned up. Uh, you can see I got the lower piece down here put back in the trim pieces. I got the fuel span fuse panel all back together I did go ahead and zip tie a couple of the wires up in there that way They're all organized and everything like that same thing underneath the hood I got that hose a little bit further on that uh, T splitting uh, so it should be all good there as you can see the boost gauge does work um, As you can see it does match the uh, the rest of the lights um, obviously everything's red. It's kind of hard to see during the daytime, uh, but at night that'll really pop and if I need I can also adjust the, the brightness of it as you can see uh, It is reading right now. And then if I go ahead and give it a few revs, I can go ahead and show you guys As you can see uh, Now this is where I'll be able to go ahead and tell if um, or If I have boost leaks or anything like that. So this will definitely kind of help with that um, that diagnosis and making sure that nothing is going wrong. Now I need to look up the stock um, boost specs and see how much pressure it's supposed to be making uh, to d determine that. Uh, I've been test driving it for a little bit now and it does make around, uh, let's see, between three and 4,000, uh, it's making around seven to eight PSI. Um, so I'm not sure if that's right or not i think that it is i think that's within spec uh so obviously i guess i just think that the car is very slow uh so i guess once we go ahead and do a couple more modifications it should get better. that um so yeah we'll see but anyways that was a really cool mod it's something i've always wanted to do um it was actually really really easy i didn't think it was going to be as easy as it was so that's really cool and i also wanted one that was digital i didn't want one that um that was you know had an actual attack so I thought that was really cool. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple pulls. It might be hard because it is a manual car. Um, not a couple of pulls, but I'm just gonna go do some normal driving and just kind of show you guys how it's reading and everything like that. Uh, so anyways, 
Uh, I'm gonna end the video on that. So anyways, I would like to thank you for you guys. Pardon. I would like to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Share with anybody you know or who might be interested in the channel and the content that we have. Um, and if you dislike the video, then I guess dislike. Um, anyways, drop a comment if you do have any recommendations, any other things that we should be doing on the channel. Uh, just let me know. I always want to hear your guys' opinions. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Peace.